Hey guys, this is just a real quick uh, video that I'm gonna put up. I wanted to share this with you guys because it was a lesson that I learned and it cost me uh, a place uh, in open. So basically to lead up to this, just to paint the picture for you guys was, uh, I was shooting really well. Um, I started to become complacent. I started to chat, I started chatting to people and lots of stuff, uh, which is what I normally do uh, anyway, but Long story short is I didn't go through my pre-stage checklist like I normally would. I go over, uh, we'll, we'll touch on this uh, in an upcoming video, but my pre-stage checklist generally is, you know, going over my rifle, making sure that I've got the correct amount of uh, rounds, magazine, I'll do my scope, um, basically go over and check everything so this sort of stuff doesn't happen. I didn't do any of that. I got called to the stage, um, went up there, didn't have my spare magazine, didn't have my bag to use. Um, I put my rifle down, raced back, grabbed it. So now I'm not flustered, but I'm out of my normal uh, pre-match ritual headspace uh, kind of deal. So the stage goes pretty much how you would expect after having that. So this here was, I think the targets were the first three that I shoot are 800 meters or 797 meters, three shots. The next one was supposed to be the first, the, sorry, the first barrel on the left, which was 560, I think it was. And then the barrel in the middle was three shots um, at 310 or something like that. And then you drop off to the side and do one prone uh, at the 797 again. So long story short is all my data was off. I didn't go through, do my pre-stage check, go over my data. This here was a pretty windy day. 90% um, of the time, if I miss a target, it's due to wind because if you validate correctly and go through the right procedure, uh, it's almost a constant or a known, I should say, your elevation. So I'll, I was making all these corrections off wind misses. I couldn't see splash. So I was presuming I was just missing uh, off the edge of target and I was making corrections off what I thought I was seeing. So I'll just let this roll out and have a quick chat during it. Where are we? All right, first target at 800. Miss, didn't see it. I'm going okay. Second shot, miss. That should have been a hit, rock solid. <clears throat> get rid of that. Again, started to get flustered now. I was about to shoot it out of sequence. Right now I'm going, okay, I should have got those first three. Concentrate, 560 meters. Boom, not seen, another miss. Not seen, I'm making corrections. Looking at my scope. Right now I'm thinking maybe I should have wore different colored underwear, don't know. <clears throat> now I'm really flustered. I've just dropped six gimme shots. This is at 310. Little did I know I was a total mill out. Impact. This one here went over the top. So basically I was a mill out on everything. Um, the two hits that I got there were just pure ass, I think. Um, I couldn't see the splash because I was a mill out. I was going over the target uh, and it was dropping in behind the target. So, because I couldn't see any fall of shot, I presumed I was missing just off the, um, the edge of the target and that's why I couldn't see it. And the buzzer went just as I pulled the last shot. So, and I missed that as well. So, what's that? So I got a two out of 10, three, 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 nine, Yes, yeah, so I got a two out of 10 when that should have been a cleared stage, uh, which I think would have put me tied for first place. So in open, I went through and still won Mill Alley, but the point is I want you guys to take something away from this because I don't usually do this. Um, uh, where are we? So yeah, keep in mind, you know, had some form of routine in place before you go up and stage. 
so you're in the right mindset when you go up to tackle these matches. That way, uh, that stage, that way you're playing it out in your head. If something happens or a curveball gets thrown at you, you can sit there and tackle it and you're not worrying about why am I missing and the targets were quite generous uh, and I just, I don't know what happened. Um, I pre-wrote um, my data down at the start of the day, then I'll usually check it throughout the day. Um, but I was shooting well on the left side of the range. As soon as I come across to the right, um, I didn't go through and confirm anything and I don't know why the data was a mil out uh, on the right hand side. Um, I have no idea. I just misread it or wrote it down wrong or something stupid like that. But proves my point, you know, why I have that in place because of silly things like that and it cost me the match. So don't do it. Um, we go through this pretty heavily in our courses and all that sort of stuff. Uh, now, especially that I've just, it's cost me a match and I didn't do my own ritual, so to speak. So it really annoyed me. Um, it's a very, very long drive home because of that. Um, but yeah, pre-stage rituals. Get on it, uh, maintain it, stick to it, and uh, trust your data. All right, next video, we're going to be doing some through the scope stuff. What errors look like through the scope. I think we're going to be the first one I'll do is um, not interfacing uh, with your the butt of your rifle correctly and what it looks like through your scope and also relying too much on your rear bag, stuff like that, and how to adjust to get your natural point of aim when prone and how to carry that across onto the barricade. So there are going to be some upcoming videos. Um, I just wanted to throw this one out there now because basically I was going through doing some editing day and I've seen it and that really jerked my chain again, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. All right, guys, um, till next vid, I'll catch you later.